Detroit Become Human has become one of my favourite gaming experiences of all time. I've never played any of Quantic Dream's other games, even though I own Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls, but if they are anything like this, then I'm going to have to take the time to play through them. Now, whilst Detroit isn't packed with Easter eggs, it does have some pretty cool references and secrets. This is my attempt at covering them all, but of course, I myself am not an android, so there's a chance that I may have missed one or two, and if I have, please leave them in the comments. Oh, and one more thing. I won't be sharing any of the game's endings, as while some of them can be hard to achieve, I wouldn't really classify them as easter eggs, but that doesn't mean that there won't be spoilers though, so if you haven't played the game, then add this video to your watch later list, and come back when you're finished. Right, so that's out of the way, let's take a look at some easter eggs. First up, I want to take a look at a couple of references to one of Quantic Dream's other games, Heavy Rain. As I said, I haven't played Heavy Rain, but even I could spot this first reference which can be found in Carl's house during the Painter chapter. This tiny origami figure is the same one that featured on the front of the game's box art. There's another reference to Heavy Rain much later in the game, as it can be seen advertised at a cinema. Come on. Let's not stay here. For some reason, the text only loads in when I'm in the cutscene, and I'm really interested to know if this is visible outside of the cutscene on the PS4 Pro. So please let me know if you have a PS4 Pro and can see this text. Also, I'm pretty sure there's a reference to Beyond Two Souls on this sign too, which is another game made by Quantic Dream, with Two Infinite and Beyond, which is almost certainly a reference to Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story, and Nomad Soul and Jungle 2 also featuring. If you jumble those words up, I'm pretty certain you'll get Beyond Two Souls at some point. Moving on now to Chloe, the android who appears at the game's menu. Now, I don't know about you, but I've really warmed to Chloe the more I've played the game, although I'm not quite sure I can forgive her for this trick she pulled on me. Oops, I think your saved game is corrupted. Just kidding. Chloe will also break the fourth wall and have something to say if you happen to get Kara and Alice killed. You let Kara and Alice die. How could you do that? You could have saved them. Remember, the lives of these androids are in your hands. Speaking of Kara, did you know that Kara originally featured in a tech demo made by Quantic Dream all the way back in 2012? This tech demo would go on to become Detroit Become Human, and it seems the developers don't want you to forget it. During the junkyard scene, which by the way is a really creepy scene, you can find a broken Kara android who is singing the song that was used in the 2012 tech demo, which is pretty cool. Okay, now sing something in Japanese. Sakura, sakura, yayoi no sora wa miwatasu kagi. This next easter egg is so subtle that if you blinked you might miss it. I say that because the voice is actually a little muffled so you may not actually hear it, but if you have subtitles turned on, then you may actually see it. When you return to the Cyberlife Tower as Connor later in the game, you'll see one of the soldiers escorting you is called Agent 47. A nice reference to everyone's favourite bald-headed assassin from the Hitman series. Agent 23 identified. Agent 
We have one more callback to Quantic Dream's previous titles. When you are leading the revolution as Marcus, you have to pick a symbol to represent your cause. One of the symbols you can use is also featured in Beyond Two Souls. Now, the more attentive of you may wonder how I know that, considering I've never played Beyond Two Souls. Well, that's where a Twitter follower came in and pointed it out to me. He doesn't want to be named, and that's entirely his decision, but if he comments on this video, I will pin his comment. Finally, this one may be a bit of a stretch, but I think it carries some weight, so come on this journey with me. I think there is a link between Connor and the Terminator. Okay, hear me out, hear me out. Firstly, Connor's model is an RK800, and the original Terminator is famously a T800 model. Could be a coincidence. Okay, how about this? Sarah Connor is a pivotal character in the Terminator movies, as is John Connor. I don't care what you're doing, come and get me. What the serious attitude problem. Surely it's not a coincidence that Connor from Detroit is also called Connor. Okay, I realise this sounds crazy at this point, but bear with me. Finally, and probably most telling of all, is the trophy for dying every way possible with Connor. It's called I'll Be Back, a line made famous by the Terminator movies. Making a statement. Where is she? Look, it may take a while. If you want to wait, there's a bench over there. I'll be back. I don't know, I could be clutching at straws here, but as always, I'd love to know what you think. So that's hopefully all the Easter eggs and secrets in Detroit Become Human. As I said, I haven't included any of the different story branches and quite a few references to previous Quantic Dreams games, such as the police officer who investigates Rose House is the same police officer as from Beyond Two Souls. Again, thank you, mysterious Twitter follower. And a hotel that Kara can sleep in is also featured in Heavy Rain. I think those sort of details deserve their own video. If you enjoyed this video, then a like is really appreciated. If you're a fan of Easter eggs and secrets in games, then perhaps consider subscribing, as that's what this channel is all about. I would just like to take this time to thank my awesome Patreon backers, Daniel Graham, Kevin Hummett, Ollie Goes Online, Carl Whiteman, Ty Stark, JR Justiano, and Tobias Gustafsson. Thank you for watching, and I'll speak to you all soon.